When water comes into your home because of a blocked drain or via a leaking pipe and humidity reaches around 90% on a surface that contains nutrients for mold such as cellulose, skin cells or soap residues mold can start to colonize that surface and grow. When toxic molds such as black mold grow toxins like the trichothecenes and the ochre toxins are released into the air. These toxins are rapidly absorbed into your walls, ceiling and floor in your home, as well as the furniture, decorations, your clothes, your cell phone, your skin and hair. This presents a very serious risk to your health. Now there's a new, safe, efficient solution to completely remove mycotoxins from your home environment. But first, let's talk about the mycotoxins. Why are they so dangerous? The mycotoxins can enter your body in three ways. Through skin contact, via ingestion, or most importantly, via inhalation. When you breathe in the contaminated air in your mold-infested home, the mycotoxins enters your nasal cavity and are absorbed via the olfactory nerves. These nerves are normally used for detecting smell. From here, the mycotoxins move up in your brain into the limbic system and further into your brain. If you have genetic variations in the gene coding for the HLDR receptors, you are much more sensitive to these toxins because you lack the membrane-bound antibodies that are supposed to bind and neutralize these compounds. Around 25% of the population have these genetic variations. This explains why one person in the family can get very sick from mold while the others stay healthy. Upon contact with your skin, the mycotoxins can cause a rash and a burning sensation as well as directly induce pain in your body. Mucous membranes exposed to mycotoxins can become sore and dry. Ingestion can be a problem when you for example eat bread baked from flour made from moldy grains. This problem is generally not so big if you live in a mold infested building. That's why binders such as activated charcoal or bentonite gives poor results when treating mycotoxin poisoning. They only act in your gastrointestinal tract and the mycotoxins make the biggest damage in your brain. They actually accumulate in the brain. So how dangerous are the mycotoxins? We have the trichothecenes, which is a large family of toxins they are formed by many of the typical molds found in water-damaged buildings. Among them, the T2 toxin is one of the more dangerous. LD50 is around 0.05 mg per kilogram body weight in rats upon inhalation. That means that T2 toxin is far more dangerous than, for example, cyanide. As a comparison, the chemical warfare agent sarin gas has a LD50 of 0.172 mg per kilogram given as injection under the skin to mice. T2 toxin is found to be 400 times more irritant than sulfur mustard gas. And sulfur mustard gas is one of the most irritant compounds known to man. That's why it has been used as a chemical warfare agent. T2 toxin also alters the levels of neurotransmitters in your brain. Tetotoxin is also fatal upon contact with your skin. Tetotoxin has also been thought to be the cause of the Gulf War syndrome in American soldiers after Iraq bombing them with a T2 loaded chemical bomb. It inhibits protein synthesis, RNA synthesis, as well as DNA synthesis. It also induces apoptosis. That means that it increases cell death rates. The okratoxins are also a family of toxins 
and are also able to deplete the brain of dopamine. But more importantly, they can cause urinary cancer. Ocratoxin A, the most toxic ocratoxin, is much less potent than the T2 toxin and has a LD50 of 20 to 25 milligram per kilogram. It is also toxic for the kidneys. When mycotoxins enter your brain, they, among other things, attack the limbic system. This is a large part of your brain and includes the amygdala that regulates anxiety, fear and aggression. Typical symptoms from mycotoxin poisoning are brain fog, memory loss, loss of balance. Sorry, sorry, stop a moment. Yeah, I want to talk about my own story with, with mold. I lived in a water damage building for more than 10 years. And I had all these symptoms and uh, even more symptoms than that. And uh, it feels like, it feels like you're in a bubble. It feels like you're almost as if you're underwater somehow. You see everything, you hear ev everything, but it's not real. It's like, uh, it's like seeing and hearing underwater almost, almost with, with the, with the um, uh, brain fog. And pain, you, you step on things and you bump into things and you drop things. And, and when you hit something, when something, when you hurt yourself, it, it feels 10 times worse th than, than normally. It, it hurts so bad. It's terrible. It's really terrible. And you, I forgot what day it was. I forgot what month it was. I even forgot what year it was at some point. Then it was really, really bad. And after a very long time, after, after almost one year, I was so depressed that I, I, I felt nothing. I was like a zombie. It was like an empty shell. It was, it was like an emotional desert. It was nothing left of me. It was completely brain dead. It was and many, many times I thought this, this this is Antichrist. This is Antichrist. Warm or cold, depression, psychosis, sugar craving, disorientation, mold rage, bloating and fatigue. Many glands, such as the pituitary gland, also called the master gland, that regulates many hormones in your body, are also affected via apoptosis. That means that cells in these glands die faster than normal. The mycotoxins can also affect the intestines and can cause symptoms similar to IBS. That is swelling, constipation, gas, diarrhea, cramps and pain. The toxins can also induce pain in joints, head, neck and other parts of your body, as well as peripheral neuropathy, PNP. To release mycotoxins is a way for mold to suppress other life forms. But the primary target is not humans nor animals, but rather bacteria, because bacteria can use mold as a food source. The reason we get affected as well is because the biochemistry inside our cells is very similar to the biochemistry inside the bacterial cell. Bacteria has been around for 2.5 billion years and mold has been around for circa 500 million years, so they have had a long time to evolve their chemical and biological defense. A bacteria may look like a blob in the microscope, but inside the bacterial cell, as well as in our cells, there is an immensely complex world of biochemistry, where molecular machines like these are at work around the clock, with timing down to the nanosecond precision. What can you do if you get sick from mold? We offer a safe product, Ceramix Air, that clears the air in your home from mycotoxins. You feel the effect within 60 minutes and the air quality will improve over time.
Ceramix air is used by moistening a small towel and hanging this up in your home, the same way as you hang up laundry. The Ceramix air will slowly evaporate and neutralize the mycotoxins in the air, and you will get your quality of life back. It's safe, 100% organic, and it will give you a new start in life. We also offer Ceramix Surface. A solution that you mix with the oil-based paint of your choice and then you paint the floor, ceiling, walls in your home as well as the furniture to completely remove mycotoxins from your home environment. Please visit ceramics.com for more information.